Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I created a slim line card using the Lovely Layers Spring Birds and Lovely Layers Dogwood. So here's the birds, there's two birds. I'm gonna use the flying bird and then I'm going to die cut twice, two times from the Lovely Layers Dogwood. So I've done that with craft card stock, that's gonna be the base. And then I trimmed out a piece of patterned paper from the Pinstripes and Polka Dots Spring and that measures eight and a quarter by three and a quarter because this is a slimline card. Slimline card bases measure eight and a half by three and a half. I decided to do a little bit of ink blending. I'm using the polka dot side. I want this to be the sky basically for my background, but I thought ink blending would add a little bit of interest. So I use Simon Says Stamps Positively Saturated Inks in Surf and Ocean. And I just blended that at the bottom. Then we have our bird, our lovely layers, spring birds. But of course I'm just using one. And I looked online for some really pretty yellow birds. I thought the yellow bird would pop nicely against that blue teal background. So I found a bird that was pretty much all yellow and it had a really pretty orange head. So it was just this fun, bright pop of color. So I'm using lemonade. A little bit later I am going to bring in Sunbeam because I wasn't getting quite the look that I wanted with just the lemonade. But I can ink blend my four major pieces. There's also a beak and eye and a little spot for the feet under the belly there. And I die cut that from black cardstock. Now I'm going to bring in a little bit of mandarin for the head because again the head it just has a little bit of orange. And I love that fun little pop of color. And then it being a yellow bird is just a nice reminder that it's spring. And so it just really is pretty on this background. Okay, now we can start gluing this together. You, I'm gonna use liquid glue to adhere this, but you could also use foam tape behind each one of these layers. And that would really make your bird very much 3D and that could be a lot of fun too. But I did not do that, I'm just gonna use liquid glue. Cleaning up my work surface from all of my ink blending. I'm using Honey Bee Stamps uh, liquid glue here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit and then layer this on. These are so easy to layer. You can see exactly where they fit. So it just is not complicated at all. Then you can see this next little piece that has his wing and his head. Then you have this tiny piece that's his little chest piece and then I for some reason didn't show that I adhered the beak, the eye, and the little feet. And there's little indentations on exactly where those go, so you cannot mess it up. But this is where I thought it needs a little something extra, so I'm bringing in the Sunbeam ink. And I'm gonna blend that on the tips of the wings and on the tail, and you can already see what a huge difference that makes and adding just a little more interest and detail to the bird itself. Okay, I have die cut from craft cardstock. The bases for the lovely layers dogwood. The flowers are white. The leaves are a green cardstock. And then I already kind of ink blended yellow on a piece of paper and die cut the center flowers. So everything of course was die cut ahead of time. Now I would say when you're putting this together, do the leaves first. I did not do that on the first one and the leaves need to be laid down first because some of the flowers overlap the leaves. I'm just adding dots of liquid glue and then I can put my flowers in place. It's like just little tiny puzzle pieces to see exactly how they fit. And you can see how this comes together pretty quickly. I can put the centers to my flowers and then there was two more centers I needed to put on and those are completely finished. Now in my Misty, I wanna stamp my sentiment so I put my background in my Misty. I laid out ideally where I want all of my images to be. I'm using the stamp set, this one's for the girls. I've been using it a lot lately, but I think it's fantastic. And I'm actually making this card for my mother-in-law. So the sentiment says for a special mother-in-law because she is really super sweet. So this card is for her. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and level. I'm checking my, my uh, stamped, my stamps, excuse me, against the grids on the front of my Misty, making sure everything is nice and level. And then I'm gonna use black ink and stamp this a couple times to get a nice, good, crisp image. 
right on the background, but there is coordinating dies for this stamp set. They just don't die cut out these sentiments. They die cut out Happy Mother's Day. Then I have some foam tape on the back of all of my images here and I'm just gently putting them in place getting everything lined up before I push it down I want to make sure that it looks like the birds kind of flying up to one of the flowers and but it's center which I really like I think the bird looks really good in the center then I'm gently pressing that down and I can trim the excess off that's hanging off the sides and I decided to bring in some white hearts these are the be mine clay hearts from honeybee stamps and they look like little petals of the flowers are falling off and I just put a few of those around and I just love how it looks. Then I'm going to adhere this to a white slimline card base and our card is finished and look at how pretty that is. I love the ink blended patterned paper and of course the lovely layers. Anything is so so good. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!